quick news break with yours truly. I'm the one and only. I go by the name of Mr. Telefero. Please make sure you're taking care of that bit of business of following your boy on Instagram at is Mr. Telefero. The goal is 10,000 followers. Oh, man. Bad news, bad news for my boy Young Berg, a.k.a. Hitmaker. I don't know what you know Young Berg as or what you know Hitmaker as. I knew Young Berg when he was making hit records like The Business, and I obviously love the producer Hitmaker who's been giving us a lot of great music from artists like Jeremiah, Ty Dolla Sign. Hell, everybody wants up some production from Hitmaker nowadays. But over the weekend, he had some very nasty stuff go on, some stuff that I'm pretty sure he's not happy about. Uh, Hitmaker was accused of pistol whipping his girlfriend uh, who was hospitalized with a broken nose. The case got turned over to LAPD. The woman reported it to the LAPD and claims uh, the incident went down at a private residence in LA around 5 a.m. on Saturday. The alleged victim was sent to the hospital, was treated, and she eventually was diagnosed with a closed head injury closed fracture of the nasal bone and facial lacerations young berg is saying this chick ain't telling the real story though all right he's saying he's not just a guy that's putting his hand on women the former love and hip-hop star said there's a lot more to the story he posted this on his instagram account he said on saturday 4 30 a.m three gunmen made an attempt on my life and a home invasion I have all the surveillance footage, which some I'm posting and also other evidence is needed. I retained legal counsel and decided that uh, with this matter, which I'm totally traumatized about, that I must let the truth out as media outlets without having proper info or attempting to stain my character and reputation that I have spent my entire life building. I could have been murdered inside of my home on Saturday, and I would like to take this time and thank all of my family, friends, and colleagues who have reached out regarding this matter, sending love and positive energy. The footage is very alarming to all of my fellow people in, in music and living in the Los Angeles area. Please be safe and monitor who you allow in your home. I made a crucial mistake, which could have cost me my life. This woman was not my girlfriend ever. I won't dive further into this, and I will let my lawyers please move forward accordingly. Please stay safe amidst these tragic times, not only for myself, but the entire world. Uh, he showed the video. Uh, he said, video one shows the suspects passing firearms through my home gate. And video two shows suspects retreating after my ADT alarm system went off and, and them jumping the gate of my property. Uh, Hitmaker also posted a statement from his attorney detailing what he claims transpired the night in question. According to the document, while spending the night with him, the chick who's claiming she got the beats put on her by Young Berg, uh, Berg's attorney is saying... This chick att attempted to convince uh, Berg to go outside to his hot tub in 50 degree weather, which he refused. After some physical intimacy, she then began a calculated, unprovoked attack on Berg, slapping and punching him repeatedly. While the document does not mention pistol whipping, it confirms Berg did defend himself against this attack. As they were fighting, his home security system was triggered by three men attempting to break in to his back door. Uh, after all the commotion, he discovered that this chick had been in contact with an unknown person and shared his address uh, with that stranger. Like like I, like Berg said, he, he claims that they were trying to set him up. I can see both sides of it. You can obviously see why Berg is trying to spin a narrative if he did put his hands on a woman uh, without proper cause, which has got to be real. Like you, For me, I don't like men putting their hands on women, but if your life is in danger, if she's trying to set you up, you got to do what you got to do to survive, bro. And straight like that. So, I mean, if Berg, I see why Berg would want to spin the narrative if he really did just out of the blue put his hands on a chick because of a dispute. But I also see the other side of it. If Berg is claiming I'm not that type of person, I don't put my hands on women. And this chick is was trying to take my life. She was trying to set me up so they could rob me. I, I could understand why he wants his side of the story out there with his name being drugged through the mud right now. I see both sides. Somewhere the truth is there. We'll see what comes out of this one. Again, Berg has lawyered up. I'm sure that chick is going to lawyer up. And I'm hope hopefully the truth will come out at some point in the near future. Here's a quick news break with George Shuley, Mr. Teller Farrell. Young Berg claims he did not just randomly pistol whip a chick because of a, a, a normal dispute. That's not his girlfriend. It was a chick that he brought over, had some intimacy with. It went left when the chick tried to set him up. That's what Berg is claiming. I'm out. I came from nothing. But I want everything God has for me. 
I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. Watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.